Jennifer Santos versus Frank Mir, and everybody's counting Frank Mir out. Everybody says Frank Mir doesn't have a chin, doesn't have this and that. Well, look how beastly this dude is. He took how many shots from Brock Lesnar when he was laying on the ground until he got knocked out? How many shots did he take strictly to the jaw from Shane Carwin and took to the ground? The funny thing is, if you watch this UFC primetime show, you see Noguera and you see JDS, they're all talking about, well, he sucks, he, his ground game is very simple, he's not that technical on the ground. No, Gara, you got knocked out by Frank Miro once, and in the second fight, you got submitted. You should pay the man respect. It, they're saying this guy, is on the primetime show, you have uh, Jared Santos and No Gary both talking about Frank Mir doesn't deserve this. What's he ever did? Why is the American crowd always ranting and chanting for this dude? I just want to say one thing, guys. Frank Mir does deserve this fight. If he beat No Gary twice, once by breaking his fucking arm, and in the first fight knocking him out, he fucking deserves this fight. Honestly, guys, this card is really stacked with a lot of uh, fights. Big Silva versus. Kenny Velasquez, Big Silva's is big, six foot ten, big beastly dude who destroyed uh, Fedor Milanenko. Is he gonna destroy um, Kenny Velasquez? I think Kenny Velasquez is gonna beat him with his wrestling. But but um, I just wanna get your guys' opinion on this vlog. Uh, this card is beastly, top to bottom. You got. Um, Big Country on the card, and when Big Country on the card, he's gonna be stomping some people uh, in the dirt. He's fighting. This card, like I said, is freaking beastly, top to bottom. Uh, I can't wait for uh, Frank Mir to win the title. I think Frank Mir's only downfall is sometimes when he fights people, he likes to stand and bang and try to knock people out, which he has knocked out power. But when you're fighting someone like Junior Santos, has the best boxing in the division, he needs to take it to the ground, but I think, to be honest, because Noguera was submitted, I think, actually, um, Junior Santos is going to try to take it to the ground and submit, um, Frank Mir, but Frank Mir has the best jiu-jitsu in the heavyweight division. Okay, He's one last thing about Junior Santos, guys, that I haven't heard any prediction say this. Once Junior Santos gets, like, frustrated, once he fought, like, Big Country, and he couldn't knock Big Country out. Did he try to take to the ground? No. He just stood there and kept raining punches. He doesn't really throw leg kicks. He just throws a lot of technical boxing. And like Frank Mir said, this is not a boxing match. This is an MMA fight. Not being able to knock him out, take to the ground. And a lot of people, oh, this dude's a Brazilian, he's just a black belt. He's, bur he, he's a beast on the ground. Well, no one's seen him be a beast on the ground. And there's a difference between being a beast in practice and a beast in the cage. Hey, what's up, guys? Enjoying this beautiful day because the last couple days it's been thundering and lightning like crazy. And Nick, IndieFX, uh, I got to agree with you. Last night you posted something on, was it Twitter or Facebook, saying that um, the thunder was so loud it, was free, it like scared you? That shit was legitly loud. When I was at dinner, I was at dinner eating um, a delicious Chinese dinner and the power flickered off and on and it was hailing and the thunder was loud it was it was real loud don't you just love little random text messages like this I think they're pretty funny And the main question was, oh, I says, we gotta go bowling, and then she said, you're a nerd. I was like, huh? You're a dork. And then she writes, beer. I was like, talk to the hand.
Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I'm gonna be heading over with my dad to this place, looking at uh, Nissan's. We're looking at the, for a new computer for his car. Computer's going out, and one of my friends, is, who's a mechanic, like a legit mechanic, who just graduated from college, doing it, said that's a a rare thing that happened to have a um, computer go out. Hey, what's up, guys? Looking at my Facebook and the timeline thing. Can I use my iPod Touch? Oh, no. I never really liked the timeline thing until I just recently started looking at it. And I think it's kind of cool how it, it actually you can read back your comments and look back on who have you had on friends and who um, has commented your pictures and what kind of pictures you have up, uploaded and stuff. Like, I uploaded this picture of uh, where I used to live. It was a dude who always used to uh, roll up downtown, and um, this bike was like free. It was a taxi, but it was basically meant for people who were drunk. They would give rides home to, and it was free. But this dude would always roll up like in the back over this section. He would always be bumping some um, Michael Jackson and dancing on his bike and hollering at women. This dude is pretty cool, but that's one thing I miss about uh, Chico, where I used to live. All this kind of stuff like that. It was just more chill, more stuff to do, and their people were more friendly. It was more of a um, like a college town like Gainesville, more uh, more of a smaller town, but there's still a lot of shit to do, like a lot more outdoorsy stuff. And that's one reason why I miss California, because there's so much more outdoorsy stuff to do than here in Florida. But like I said, looking back at my um, Facebook page. But what I was saying is, guys, it's kind of cool. It's kind of reminds you of vlogging, how you can go back and look back like a year ago and see what you actually did. But, um, like I said, I'm just looking back at the pictures and the comments and what people have um, written me. You want to see something that's funny? Everybody calls these the, uh, the boobs of California. Because when you're going from uh, L.A. to um, San Diego, don't those look like uh, legit boobs? <laughs> I mean, people call them the metal boobs, so... If you can see, like, the nipple part would be, like, up here, and then the round part would be the, the boob. And I pulled out of the garbage. One of the, when I was working down in St. Augustine, the office next to us was throwing it away, and I'm like, it looks fine. Brought it home, plugged it in, worked perfectly. Why did they throw it away? Because they were closing? I don't know. I No, they weren't closing. I have no clue. I just um, saw the lady throw it away. Box, one that looks like an engine. One that looks like, like a motorcycle. motorcycle. They built it into a motorcycle. You know? Gee. kind of crazy to put them in a uh, fish tank. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just got done watching UFC 146. That was a hell of a card. Almost every every fight was uh, either a knockout finish or... Uh, yeah, basically every fight was a knockout finish. And uh, the two guys... Uh, a lot of fighters I wanted to win one. Uh, you had... Um, Skyscraper. That dude won. You had Big Country. You had... Um, Dan Hardy win by knockout. You had the destruction of, uh, Big Silva by, uh, Cain Velasquez. That fool just brutally, uh, fucked up that fight. That, I mean, I'm getting excited. That fool was, a uh, Cain Velasquez versus Big Silva was the most bloodiest fight I've ever seen in, in a mixed martial arts, uh, fight. And, uh, the main event, I'm not going to give it away and say who won, but I'm disappointed. And if you watch my MMA channel, my, um where I talk about uh, UFC all the time, you guys would know who I was going for. And I'm disappointed because my boy didn't win that fight. But um, with that said, rate, hate, comment, subscribe. And um, I will talk to you guys next time. And if you guys want to see the fights, links in the description box.